tractor vlog. Do tractors vlog? If they do, it might look a little something like this. Welcome back to the OND life where we get orange and dirty. This is where you can come for some lessons learned from a new tractor owner who learned the hard way, but also learn about some products that I, I found that has made my tractor a lot more usable, a lot more enjoyable, and has helped me out tremendously around the homestead. So stick around and today we'll be talking about something that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back. Got just a little bit of a uh, vlog for you. Just some various footage of stuff that had going on. It seems like um, when I get a break from it raining, you know, I try and hurry up and get some stuff done. And so don't have a lot of time to make some videos. Just having to do some projects, chores, honey-do list, um, running errands. Uh, just different things like that but just thought i'd put something together um, some footage that i got of doing some stuff and uh, share it with you guys hope you enjoy just a little bit of uh, tractor life i guess the o and d life here um, i took off the loader i wasn't sure if it was going to work with the forks my I, I don't take off my loader arms very often. Um, never did it with the fork or the grapple. So I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. But uh, it did work out okay. No problem. So thank goodness. Uh, with the... Um, well, first let me back up. If you want to see a good video about how to take off a BX loader, um, the 70 series, and probably applies to all the models before that, up uh, a good good video to watch is from John Ritter, his channel. He's got a great video about how to take off the loader and a little trick um, to get to those hoses. With my my grapple and the three point, uh, not three point, third function hydraulics, um, I have to unhook those before I can back up anymore. But that's the key. <laughs> I'm wiping off the uh, inside of the um, covers, dust covers, for the hydraulic couplers. I was wiping them out on my pants there. But um, so the key that John explains in his video is that once you unhook it from your um, the pins, then and you lift it off of the carriage. Then you back up just a little bit so that you can get to those hydraulic hydraulic fittings and um, rather than trying to squeeze your hands in there. Um, so that, that helps out immensely. But with that third function kit, their hoses aren't as long as the loader ones or simply because they're further back. Um, I can't back all the way up. I have to take those off and then do the back up a little more. And then I've got plenty of room to deal with those loader valves. But I um, wanted to take off the, the loader arms because I was doing some uh, spreader works. I uh, have a little cedar. I uh, put some weed and feed in it. Um, used to pull it behind my... my um, zero turn and I thought you know what let me try it on the back of the tractor uh, with the big tool rack so I could hold the extra bags in the in the big tool rack um, fill up the hopper because it's a smaller one and uh, get through a good bit of the yard so anyways that's what you're gonna be seeing got that all taken care of and uh, can pull on, pull on out. Um, before I did that, let's see here. I think my next footage, yeah, here it is with the uh, big tool rack on 
and the um, loader off. Looks pretty cool. Had to take off the hitch. I had moved the trailer back. So I took the, I'm going to take off that hitch, the trailer ball. And uh, actually, I, I think here I slide in the hitching can. I think I was going to run up and go get the trash can and then come back. So <laughs> that's first. Then the rest of the um, video today is just going to be some random stuff, a little bit of everything, some tips, etc. Enjoy. Boy, gotta love how they attach that tractor to the trailer. Real quick look. See, I put a tarp down and some plywood which actually worked out pretty good because the forklift that went at the uh, UPS dock, um, they weren't able to, you know, push it all the way in with it fully on the forks because of the lift gate here yeah, and their, their uh, tower on the uh, forks. So, um, you know, he had to get it in, pull back a little bit, and then push it. So really, it kind of worked out really good he was able to slide on that plywood and a little bit of slide on the um, tarp so it didn't tear up the uh, back of the Explorer. Worked out pretty good. Hey guys, quick little tip with your ratchet straps. This is a small one, but I used to wrap it up around the hook on the end. And then you'd roll it out and, you know, you had to make sure you didn't hit anyone if you were throwing it up over something. Finally, after so many years, realized if I roll it back up from the uh, loose end, then when you get it all rolled up, you can hold on to the hook and throw this over your load and if someone's over there of course you probably should announce hey throwing my strap over so that they can get out of the way but in case they don't or even if there's a dog that doesn't listen to you then at least you're not going to whack them too hard with the hook end just the strap end and it's kind of like in case you ever TP'd someone's house it just unravels when you throw it there we go you can just hold the hook and it unravels. That's your tip for the day. Feels good to be outside. Boda! Found. Thanks for watching. I truly feel blessed to be able to do this and contribute back to the YouTube community that I have learned so much from, such as how to do tractor and auto maintenance and repair, plumbing repairs in my house, electrical, which I'm certain has saved me thousands of dollars over the years. Not to mention the tons of entertainment watching tractor related videos in anticipation of my tractor, then how to use it or the attachments or what my next attachment mod I absolutely needed. I'm sure I'm the only one, right? To help support the channel, please hit the like button and comment below. This helps the video get suggested to other viewers. Plus, I really enjoy the interaction from y'all. If you want to see other videos of my tractor adventures, sub subscribe to my channel at OND Life 
and hit the bell symbol to be notified when new videos are posted. When you go to my channel, you will find videos discussing attachments, some safety lessons learned from a rollover I had, and a time that the tractor was running away from me downhill. And then there's videos of just getting orange and dirty. If you are on Facebook, you can find me at OND Life. Like and follow the page for sneak peeks of current weekend projects and likely upcoming videos. Look in the description below for my email and link to the OND Life Amazon store where you can find some products that I use in the videos or just use or that I want and I plan to order at some point from the store. Lastly, check out some of the videos in the description. I have some links. They're videos of products that can help keep you orange and dirty, living the O&D life. O&D out.